Now this takes very little dye, so I'm just going to put just maybe a quarter of an ounce of, of each color of dye in the bowl. If I need more, I can always put more in there. And these dyes are uh, semi-permanent, so they're ready to go. You don't have to mix them with anything. You squirt it in the bowl and paint it on. And they need to set about 15 or 20 minutes before you rinse, but by the time we get the rest of the dog dyed pink, these colors should be very vibrant. Okay. And we're just going to go get started here. I'm going to roll her back and forth here so I can see where I'm going. We're going to start with the red. And get this side first, then I'll roll her over so you can see. And I'm just pretty much doing upside down U's with each color. so you can kind of see that. And what I have found um, on my salon clients, you don't have to shoot for absolutely 100% perfect rainbow that you spend two hours painting on the dog because when the owner sees it, they're going to be tickled. Even if the lines aren't perfectly straight or if the red line's a little thicker than the blue line, they're never going to notice because they're just going to be so excited about their dog's new haircut and uh, color job. Like I said, this, this works really good on dogs that don't mind their belly being messed with. Okay, so we have our red. And we can go with our green. What I'm going to do is get as close as I can to the red without getting it mixed in there. And then when this fluffs out, you won't even see the little bit of a line that's in between there. Oh, and I dipped it in the wrong color. I'm going to do a little bit wider on the green, and then I'm going to do a little bit wider on the blue. Just to kind of fill the belly here. Make sure you're right at the edge of the red. And when you get done, we'll go back with our scissors after we fluff this out, and we'll scissor the edges of this so the edges look real good and nice. Get another brush since I dipped it in the wrong color there. Like I said, that's something if this was Klein's dog, nobody would ever even notice. So we'll just blend it right in. Right at the edge of the green here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pull this blue and green up here where I got that red spot. Red and blue make purple, so it'll blend. Better so you can kind of see here. There we go. Just a little bit more and we'll be done with the rainbow and then the the only precaution we're going to have to take to not mess this up is when we flip her over to dye the rest of her pink is to make sure you don't put your hand there and smear that because you don't want to uh, smear your colors and get finger colored fingerprints all over her. Kind of blend that at the edge on both sides. There we go. See one little white hair right there in my red. All right. Now what I'm actually going to do before I flip her over is since we're doing the rest of her pink and we're going to leave a white circle on her belly, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my pink around the circle so I get the, uh, the outline the way I want it while I have her flipped over.